trabajo hace? Eh, remodelación. Remodeling. Okay. What about you, Mr. Javier Rivera? How long have you lived here in Florida? ¿Y usted, señor Javier Rivera, cuánto tiempo ha vivido aquí en Sud de la Florida? Como dos años y medio. Two and a half years around. Okay, and uh, are you currently employed? ¿Está trabajando? Sí. Yes. ¿Qué tipo de trabajo hace? Finish. Finish. Okay, do you have any money in the bank? ¿Tiene algún dinero en el banco? No. No. Okay. I'm going to set both of your bonds at $5,000. Voy a finalizar sus, sus fianzas ambos a $5,000. Based on the level of violence. El nivel de la violencia. The court will uh, order that you have, both of you have no contact. El juez with ordena que ambos de ustedes no tengan contacto. Isidro. Con Isidro. Salguero Gonzalez. Salguero Gonzalez. You are not allowed to come within. No se le permite acercarse. 250 feet of him. A 250 pies de él. You're not allowed to possess any guns or weapons no while you're out. No se le permite pistolas o armas mientras que está fuera. I realize that he lives very near you. Estoy de, eh, enterado que él vive bien cerca a usted. So you can't go near him. Así que usted no puede acercarse a él. You can't go near any of his property. No puede acercarse a ninguna de su propiedad. And you are not allowed to have anyone go talk to him on your behalf. Y no se le permite mandarle personas que hablen por ustedes a nombre suyo. The court okay. finds out you've done okay. that. Si el juez haya que usted ha hecho eso, the court will have you rearrested and put back in jail. El juez lo va a arrestar de nuevo y lo va a poner en la cárcel so de that nuevo. Man, that man does not exist to you anymore. Así que ese hombre no existe para ustedes ya. You have no contact okay. with him. No tiene contacto con él. Is that clear, Mr. Leon? Está correcto, señor León. Sí, correcto. Yes, clear, Mr. Javier Rivera. Eso está correcto, señor Javier Rivera. Sí. Yes. Gracias. Judge, there's. Okay. I got a call from North Broward. There's somebody over there, too. North Broward, who do you have? I have uh, Michael Gutierrez. He's on the second docket. Got it. Gutierrez. I have this one minute before we said that's it. Nope. I, said, I just have the medical reset for River Montserrat. It's going to be what? Which case? This Gutierrez, you said, right? Yes. Um, Let me check to see. What's the booking ID number? It's robbery firearm. Uh, let me, let me, hold on, wait, this thing is spazzing out. What's the booking ID number? It says here, state no, file no, no, the book ID number. Okay, then it's valuable. So you have a, you have a court case Gutierrez. number? I'm going to read a uh, formal charge against you. Señor Gutierrez, le voy a leer el cargo formal contra usted. Okay, gracias. Okay, thank you. The state of Florida versus Michael Alfredo Gutierrez. El estado de la Florida contra Michael Alfredo Gutierrez. You are charged with attempted robbery. Se le acusa de intento de robo. That formal charge against you. Ese cargo formal contra usted. Signed and sworn to by Alex Urella. Es firmado y juramentado por Alex Urella. And he did so on July 10th. Right. Él lo hizo el 10 de julio del 2015. I, I have no issues in line of the fact that it went uh, would it make a difference as to the bond it went from a second degree felony to a third degree felony it's an attempt at strong arm robbery I, I don't know judge I, I just usually on these on these matters if it's the new order is for robberies that they don't have is so I'm going to leave the bond where it is if he wants to take the bond la fianza como está. Uh, He'll have to go to his trial judge, all right? Tiene Thank que you. Ir al, uh, al, uh, el juez de su juicio. Gracias. Thank you, sir. Gracias, señor. Judge, main right. jail, we have Danny Gonzalez. All right, thank you. That's pretty much fast. Danny Gonzalez. Arrest number 531. 
Five zero zero eight three three. Take a second look. That also seems like it's a thirty day motion. What's the court case number? The state of Florida filed a formal charge on you, sir. Great. El estado de la Florida entabló un cargo interdicto, un cargo formal contra usted, señor. On July tenth. El diez de julio. Two thousand fifteen. Del dos mil quince. The case is the state of Florida versus Danny Florida, Florida contra Danny Gonzalez. You were charged with count one fleeing or attempting to elude the police. No, I know. Con la cosa de es, escaparse o tratar de escaparse de la policía. Count two is grand theft auto. Cargo número dos es robo mayor de un carro. You are uh, that formal charge was signed by Mr. Urella. Ese cargo fue firmado por el señor Urella. July 10th. El 10 de julio. 2015. Del 2015. Do we have any uh, issues by the defense? No, judge. The motion is hereby denied. La petición es denegada. And all previously set bond and release Todas conditions. Todas las fianzas originales están vigentes. Shall remain. Thank you. Gracias. Okay, I think that's it for now. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. Great. No much, Judge. Now, you see Lee Farrell, Christopher Sosa, Joel Tavares. Lee Farrell, you're here for a battery. The court finds probable cause. It says, uh... Go ahead. Do we have any prayers on this, gentlemen? Farrell. You working at this time, Mr. Farrell? Farrell? Yes, sir. Yes, Judge, he is. He works at Seven Seas Yacht Sales. He's been living in South Florida for 13 years. He's been living at his current address for six months. His wife is two months pregnant. He does have family here in South Florida. He does have a little money in the bank. He does not own any real estate. He hopes that his wife will bond him out. One, one moment, Judge. What do you do for Seven Seas Yacht Sales, sir? I'm one of their lead technicians. I do full mechanical electrical rigging on, on new boats. Got it. Judge, at this time, um, I would ask the court to enter an order allowing the public defender's office to take photographs okay. of Mr. Farrell's injuries. And I would also add that the injuries that he received, which um, are in the booking photo, um, are not included in this probable cause affidavit. Okay. He had a petty theft in 2013, a felony battery, uh, 2013, uh, domestic violence battery, 2013, uh, possession of controlled substance, 2010, petty theft, 2009, carried concealed firearm, 2009, resisting without violence, 2007. Uh, sir, your bonds could be $1,000. All right, I mean, you've got a history of... Uh, theft and violence. All right, Judge. Thank you. Um, no contact order. Any, any, any chance of pre-trial for this guy? He's got a uh, pregnant wife at home. He needs to get well, home too. You know, he's out at three o'clock in the morning, allegedly punching somebody in the he, face. So, sir, you're. Uh, oh. You got two, ba two battery convictions, a couple thefts, thousand dollars, no contact, for Mr. Duffy. Thank you, Christopher Sosa. Bonded. Bonded, Judge. Got it. How about uh, Joel Tavares? Bonded. Bonded, Judge. Wilkins. Wilkins. No, no, Broward. Cazo is at North Broward, Judge.
Okay, uh, Wilkins, Kazoo, Kazoo, Stefan, Halsey. Mr. Kazoo. Wilkins is a North Broward judge. He's North Broward for Wilkins. Okay, where's Kazoo? Oh, Wilkins. North Broward. I got it. Okay. What? Sir, tra trespassing, sir, at the 7 Eleven on Atlantic. Move I just had a kid in the day. Excuse me? I just had a kid. Can you can you kind of serve me? I'm, I'm trying to see my daughter. I I had a, I, I had a baby daughter. Okay. Right, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go ahead. Um, I'm gonna set your bond today at two hundred and fifty dollars. I'm gonna send you over, Judge Lerner Ren. All right. All right. Thank you. There you go. How about Stefan Halsey? In jail. Resisting arrest without violence, two counts. Trespassing count three. Count one is 100. Count four, five, six, and seven are uh, two. Their warrants 250 for each four through seven. Count one's 100. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Off to go. Uh, David Green, Christopher Hall, David Archer. Archer, North Broward for the Greens, North Broward, Your Honor. Mr. Green, trespassing, Quick Funds Probable Cause, Memorial Regional Hospital. Uh, Quick Funds, uh, Missouri Defendant State, he can and won't leave, so he has no choice but has to go to jail. Yeah. Okay. Eight five four. Eight five four. Sir, would you like to resolve your trespassing today? I mean, yeah, I, yes, Your Honor. I didn't have a choice because they were putting me on the street, sir. I had a stroke. I, I can't even use one side of my body, and I don't have family here. That's why I did that. Well, what about go to a homeless shelter or somewhere like that? They wouldn't take me there because they, there's no medical technician to give me medication or to even put their hands on me to help me to the bathroom or anything, sir. Okay. Do you, how long have you lived down here in South Florida? Um, maybe six months. And where'd you come from? California. And you don't have family down here? No, sir. Well, I can't. You go ahead. Go, I'm just asking, why'd you come from California? I, I can't really. I have, a, I have a lady friend down. Well, I did have a lady friend, and things didn't work out. Okay. So now I'm basically trying to go back home. Would you like to uh, plead no contest today, sir? The case will be over with. You can get out of jail today. Yes. Do you understand? We're not going to have a trial. We're not going to appoint an attorney. It's over with right now. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. I'll withhold adjudication. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank I'm Christopher you. Hall. Hall's at North Broward. You said he bonded. Bonded. What about David Archer? Mr. Archer. Uh, He's present. The main judge. No, Mr. Chris Hall. No, I'm talking to David Archer right now. Mr. Archer. You're here yes, sir. trespassing. Would you like to resolve your case today, Mr. Archer? Yes, I would. How do you plead to trespassing? No, no contest. Good. Okay, I am Chris Hall. Do you understand we're not going to have a trial today, Mr. Archer? Okay. No, no, Chris Hall. Chris Hall. Chris Hall bonded. Sir. If your name's not David Archer, please don't say anything. No, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Don't say anything. You're, you're next. Now. David Archer, uh, you want to plead no contest? Your case will be over with today? Yes, sir. You understand we're not going to have a trial, Mr. Archer? No. Mr. Archer, I'll, how do you plead? No contest. Yeah, I'll withhold adjudication, sir, but I'm just going to, sir, you've been arrested multiple times at the same no, location. I I'm going to ask have to go grab, don't, I don't have return to, go. to the Quick K liquor store. They don't want you back there. I don't want to see you get arrested again, all right? No, I just got to go back and get my bike and stuff. It's all back there. Well, Make sure all my stuff is there. If you do it, be very careful, officer. all right? Thank you. You're going to have to have a police officer escort you there. Yeah. Okay. I will. Thank you. Come on, Mr. Archer. Del Campo. Del Campo. Archer's coming right now. Watch out with the gentleman. Where's Del Campo? Del Campo, Roger Nelson, Kevin Finnegan. Del
This is Roger Nelson, Judge. Um, I believe that Jason Kaufman is his attorney. I did send him an email this afternoon. Okay. Sir, on uh, at least one of these cases. Your bond has been posted, Mr. Del Campo, wherever he is. Is this Roger Nelson right here? It is, Judge. Sir, count one violating probation, no bond, two and three are misdemeanor warrants, 2,500. Thank you, sir. How about no, do you spare Paul? Do you spare Paul and Kevin president Finnegan? Sir. Mr. Paul is president of the main. Sir, aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Court finds probable cause. Do we have any prayers on Mr. Despair Paul? Court finds probable cause delivery. Mr. Uh, Paul got into an argument with his roommate, Mr. Anthony Hoskins. Paul picked up, kicked open the door um, to Mr. Hoskins' room, and Mr. Paul allegedly was wielding a sword. Hoskins advised that the defendant lunged at him, swung the sword at his face, hitting him on the side of his nose and upper lip, causing a piece of his nose to be removed, cut off. Okay. Hoskins, uh, okay, the victim will sustain permanent injuries, damage to his nose as a result of the incident. All right, State, any priors? Yes, Your Honor, one second. Any, uh, do you have any, uh, thing you want to say about how this defendant being able to bond? Judge, I, I didn't get a chance to talk to him about his, uh, ties to the community. I've just, um, asked the court to consider that, that um, there's no way of knowing, um, whether the injury to the alleged victim in the case was as a result of the sword or whether it was a result of jumping out of a, a broken, breaking of the glass and jumping out of a window. So. Yeah, that's how you go. Hoskins, fearing for his life, then jumped out of the closed bedroom window. Well, like, according to Hoskins, it was the sword that got him, not the window, but I'm going to take his, for today, I'm going to take his word for it. Um, does this defendant have any money to bond out with? Judge, I don't think he says that. I think this is the conclusion of the police officer. It says Hoskins, fearing for his life, then jumped out of a closed bedroom window, breaking the glass, and uh, he was trying to left the area to call for help. So I realize you said that you don't know whether the sword got him in the nose or whether the glass got him in the nose, but apparently he told the police that this right. defendant lunged at him and swung the sword and cut his nose off. So. Right. What, what I'm trying to get at, Judge, is there's no way for him to know that. What, Do you follow what I'm saying? Victim? Unless, unless he stopped to take a, a look in the mirror to see what well, the I damage agree. was done. I don't, you know, He's I not going to know when, when, when the injury occurred. You know, maybe he knew immediately when his nose fell off or was cut off that well, he was missing his nose and he better go out the window. I'm, I, I, I don't agree. Know. I wasn't there, but I'm just imagining that if someone slices your nose up with the sword, you're probably going to be on notice that something bad is, you know, following also. I'm just... Well, you know, you know Judge, I'm, like I said, there's no way really? of knowing... Really? <laughs> really. <laughs> just saying. All right. Go ahead. Does he, uh, do you, does he have any money or any... Uh, judge, I, I need... To, uh, I would ask the court to inquire, please. Okay. Sir, do you have any money in the bank? No. How long have you lived down no, here in sir. South Florida? Over 20 years. Okay. All right, sir. Um, aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. I'm going to set your bond today based on the level of violence using a weapon. I'm going to set your bond at 25000 I'm going to order pretrial release with a GPS monitor. I'm going to waive the cost, but I'm going to order you have no contact um, with directly or indirectly with Anthony Hoskins. Do not call him, text him, email him. Stay 500 feet from him at all times. You're not allowed to possess a gun, a weapon, including a sword at any time under any circumstance. Your bond's been set based on the level of violence and the court's concern for the safety of the alleged victim. Thank you. Uh, at point of clarification, Judge, that's level two, so he can work. Yes, he can work. Yeah. Thank you. Off you go. Good luck. I'm going to take about a two-minute break. I'll be right back.
What's the case number on that, ma'am? Case number 150367 CF10A. 1500 what? 6367 CF10A. Okay. So you just call the guy back and we'll do it. Okay. I'm going to. Um, 15 006367 CF10. CF10. I'll let Mr. Miller know to get him. Okay. Uh, Mr. Miller, can you go back and get Mr. Dispierre Paul? There, uh, there's a, he we're, had an opening. He had opening case. We're gonna get Finnegan. If you could get uh, Pierre Paul back here, we'd appreciate it. Kevin Finnegan. This is Mr. Finnegan. He has declined the services of the public defender. Sir, possession of cannabis, resisting arrest without violence, fleeing and eluding at a high speed, reckless driving, leaving the scene of a crash. Tail lights uh, improper, no tag light, fail to wear a safety belt. I think there's one more here. Driving on the wrong side of the road. Hold on one moment. Fit again? Yes, uh, sir. I'm looking at your driving record right now. You have a valid DL. You don't have a bad driving history. Yeah. So hold on one moment. Big A, what do you do for work right now? Uh, I just graduated automotive school. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm trying to get it. Excuse me. What are you gonna do with your uh, your diploma? Uh, I'm working on it right now. Okay. Do you have any money in the bank? No, sir. Okay. Um. Let me just look right here real quick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna set your bond on count one. Now this is dated. This goes back to oh no, it's not that dated. All right. Um, count one and two are ROR. Count three, the fling at the uh, police will be thirty five hundred dollars. Reckless driving, that bond will be uh, $1,500. We can see the crash will be 1000 All right, so I think that's 6500 Am I correct? My math is, am I correct about that? No, it's 6000 right? Your bond $6,000, sir. It's based on the facts of the case, and uh, you can bond out of jail. Yeah, Paul, Paul, sir. Oh, no. Yeah, you can't. Just Pierre Paul. Just Pierre Paul. Thank you, Paul. Come on back. Sir, uh, I'm going to revoke the bond. You're out on. You're on a. Uh, you're out on a felony petty theft and criminal mischief. Fifteen six three seven six CF ten. You'll be held without bond. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now see Bruce Williams, Chris Julian, and. Aero Espino. Bruce Williams. Sir, a writ of arrest, count one, $588 purge amount. Count two, a career offender, failure to register. Do we have that this gentleman's a career offender? You have a... Yeah, 255273. Declare him his career offender. I have it right here. Release from prison on this date on order. Okay, career offender after serving five year sentence in prison. Strong arm robbery. Was it? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and set your bond at a thousand on count two. Count one is purge amount, 588. Thank you. How about uh, Chris Julian? Main jail. Okay, Julian, you're charged with uh, license suspended. This is your third or subsequent offense. Let me just look here. Got a valid DL. Um, what are you doing for work right now, Julian? 
Judge, he's a self-employed auto detailer. He's been doing that for eight years. Um, lived in Broward his whole life. Been in his current address for the past three years. He has an eight-year-old child that he takes care of. Strong family ties. About fifty dollars in the bank. No real estate, and his girlfriend's going to have to bond. I'm going to release him ROR. Thank you, sir. Roger that. Thank you, Judge. How about you go. go? Yeah, probable cause found. Go. Judge, going to let you out. Okay. What about Arrow Espino? Mm -hmm. President the Maine. Espino. Possession of cocaine, sir. The court finds probable cause. Do we have any priors on this gentleman? No priors. Julian. Outside. 23, 23 year resident of South Florida, judge, 18 years at the same address, working for Broward School Board for 22 and a half years. Strong family ties, no money in the bank. He owns his own home. I'm sorry, he does have money in the bank, does own his own home. His wife's going to have to bond him out. We're asking for ROR yeah. for You know time. what I'm going to do? So I'm going to release you on your own recognizance today, but you're going to, on Monday between 8 and noon, you're going to get a pretrial release, which is down the street from where you are right now. It's on the other side of the courthouse. You're going to be drug tested every week. You're going to have a drug and alcohol evaluation. If you fail a drug test, if you come back positive for cocaine, marijuana, methamphetamine, anything, you'll be rearrested. You'll put, be, be put back in jail. And frankly, you may be held in jail for a few months until you get a trial. So you want to stay clean while you're out, all right, sir? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. That's the entrance right there. You know what that building is, right? Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Hi, Dang. Rodney Davis, Michael Cross. Mr. Dang is still on medical loan, Judge. Who's, who's Rodney Davis? He's in North Broward. Okay. Rodney Davis is in North Broward, Judge. Okay. Uh, Rodney Davis, who's what? He's, he's a medical reset, North Broward medical reset. Yeah, we're going to reset uh, Davis for Saturday also. He's... Nope. How about Michael Cross? Nope. Judge, Mr. Cross is president of the Maine. Um, I was able to reach out to the attorney that he wanted to hire. Um, she was supposed to have someone cover for her today. He's not here with this significant a bond. Um, let me just ask him one question, Judge. Michael Cross, right? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Judge, he's telling me he can't post this bond. I don't know what to do. Maybe we can pick it till Monday. You, Mr. Cross, sir, which, who do you want to hire? Who, which attorney? Uh, her name is uh, Leah. Leah, Leah Kraus? Yes. Le is it Leah Kraus or Leah uh, Marison? No, Leah Kraus. Okay, well, I can contact Leah Kraus. Have you been able to get in touch with her? I, I haven't even been able to make a phone call to tell anybody where I'm at. Stand by. I'll take care of it. Hold on.
Yeah. Okay, Mr. Cross, I talked to Leah Krause's office. She's out of the country. She's going to be sending Attorney Hager here tomorrow for you, all right? Thank you. Okay, thanks, Judge. Here you go. Judge, can we get an order so he can make a phone call? He's been... Wait, hold on. May I see the... May I talk to the... Uh, the... Uh, Party? <coughs> Security in the main jail, the deputy in the main jail. This is. Come on. Oh my God. Just so you know, Mr. Hardy loves this part of his job. Sir, <laughs> Mr. Hardy, I don't ask too often, but will you make sure that this defendant has an opportunity to make a phone call? Yes, we will. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. Yeah, Thank you. Mr. President, the main judge. Okay. Sir, violation of probation, Mr. Tate. That's a uh, felony, no bond. You'll see your judge on the 14th. Thank you. Brian Woods. Judge, he's at the North Broward Jail. At this time, I'm going to ask, I did have an opportunity to speak with him about about this. All I saw was a warrant. He, uh, so what I'm asking the court to do is, uh, he, he in speaking with him, he doesn't have any funds to hire an attorney. So I'm asking the court to appoint the public defender's office to represent him. Right. Secondly, Judge, I would also ask the court to do a mental. Uh, I would ask the court to do a mental health screen. Okay. Is that him? Did, did he walk away? Where Where is Mr. Uh, Woods? Mr. Woods is not where. He's here. Right? Well, Judge, I would ask. First, I would ask the court to appoint the public defender's office on the case. Okay, I'll do that. Second, I would ask for a uh, mental health screen. Okay. Third thing is, Judge, I reviewed the uh, warrant for the arrest. Well, is it you? But you're, you're in, what about the indictment? I, di I didn't see the whole indictment. I've got the indictment right here. I believe all four counts will be PBLs. They are? Yeah. Racketeering. Uh, and I've got the... <laughs> You know what, maybe I, no, I do, this is the indictment. Is the PD's office representing any of the co-defendants, James Moncor or David Fletcher? I do not know who's representing Mr. Fletcher unless the, I don't have a computer here. If, if I don't have any information as to whether or not our office represents Mr. Fletcher or any of the co-defendants in the case, maybe. If you could look at the uh, co-defendant's case number, then if a public defender pops out, then I would ask, we can withdraw and he could get conflict-free counsel. Right, reset this for Mara and then you can look at it this afternoon to figure out who you're representing or who you're not. You want me to do that? Judge Merrigan's going to be here tomorrow and he will know how to handle this, all right? Well, I, I just don't, I need the name of the co-defendants. James Monker, M-O-N-C-U-R, and David Fletcher. It's on the top of count two. Oh, but can you get the date of birth as well, please? I have a probable cause. I just have a warrant for just this defendant's arrest. No mention of any co-defendants. No. No. So uh, what I what I looked at was the states uh, the states uh, information. That? That's it. Okay. Thank you. So I'm going to reset this matter for tomorrow at uh, Saturday. Thank you, sir. Judge, at this time, I'm invoking his right to remain silent. Got it. There you go. Okay, give me a quick moment. I need to take a quick break. I have to contact an attorney. Hold on.
All right, may I see Jason Kirsting? Main jail, Judge. Mr. Kirsting, give me a quick moment. I'll be right there. Okay, Mr. Kirsting, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to reset this matter for tomorrow morning. And uh, at that time, Judge uh, Merrigan can address this. Thank you. Thank you. Judge, I got two bodies here for a second look. I think the easiest one's going to be Mr. Spicer, or maybe the hardest one. Um, he's here. He's been here for about three weeks. Come on, Mr. Spicer. Is his name Spicy or Spicer? Spicy. Spicy. Spicy, sorry, my bad. Okay. Not sure why he's here, though. He's not been 30 days, and um, it's been way past uh, second look. Because you, you guys were looking for stuff. Spicer. Spicy. Is it, is it 30 days? Tell me he's been here 22 days. Oh, so this is a second look, then? The other guys are on the scale there. I'll, 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 I'll come and get them. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to get them. Yeah, I got a 
to send this to the division. Sorry about bringing in Mr. Spicy. Thank you. Okay, what about... Uh, so, my last fellow is DeAndre Smith. He's here for a 30-day motion. You know, it's not really denied. You want to sign these and then just send it to the division? I'm not denying any motion. I'm just not acting on it. Okay? Instead of putting more... Okay, what's your name, sir? DeAndre Smith, Judge. DeAndre Smith, okay, so We don't have anything on them, Judge. What? The defendant was arrested 6-7-2015, so this would be a 30-day motion, right? Judge, you have a case number so we can pull that up? 157401. <laughs> I think this everything is in here is it doesn't look like you filed an information no it looks like there was an intent I'm, I'm reading this now it looks like there's an intent to decline it right let me see the CCF is a, an intent to decline but you don't have any information filed right the PVP is an intent to decline it may just be in the process of being reviewed let me see where it's let me see where it tracks right now Hold on a um, it looks like we're reducing the other charges to a misdemeanor. Okay, so I'm going to uh, grant the motion to release your ROR 157401 CF 10A. Motion's granted, you'll be released. Thank you. Yeah, they're filing the release. Thank you, Judge. Good luck. We're done here at the main. You're going to file? Well, yeah. it looks like they're filing the trespass and the resist without. Okay, that's fine. Thanks. Okay. Uh, who's, the next, who's the other person? It was DeAndre Smith. That was Smith. No. Take care. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh, let me just, I'm going to go operate down the felonies. Do we have any 30 days that we can release on the felonies? Weldon looks like it's not filed. It's a drug case. Okay. And my, Samuel Midas is a position of cocaine, not filed. Samuel at Conti, Your Honor. Okay, just give me a moment. Or... Where's Midas? Here, yes, sir. Sir, you're going to be released on your own recognizance. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir. Get Valencia Weldon there. What did you do before? Valencia Weldon? Mm -hmm. Paul Ryan, Your Honor. Hello, you're, sir. Going to, you're going to be released today on your own recognizance, all right? Thank you so much. Yes, Okay, what about, uh, okay. do we ever take care of Danny Gonzalez? Seems like we had a Danny Gonzalez earlier. But... That's a cocaine. Magnus is a, co a drug charge, Judge. Okay. It's not going to be filed. No? 
Okay, Magnus is at Paul Ryan. Over for the lab. Okay, Magnus, uh, Nicole, Magnus, you're going to be released on your own recognizance. All right. Thank you. What about uh, Tangela Goodwin? Tangela Goodwin, hello, ma'am. What are you going to do with that, uh, Tangela Goodwin? Second hello. Paul Ryan, you're on. Okay. Paul Ryan, you're on. Goodwin is not going to be filed. No. Okay. Ma'am, I'm going to release you on your own recognizance today. Thank you. Thank you. I got one more from the Paul Ryan, Your Honor. Okay. Here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm covering my mouth. I'm what's, not rude like that. What's your name, ma'am? Doreen Dorso. Doreen. Okay, just just hold on one moment. Where's Michael Gutierrez? Sure. Michael Gutierrez. Michael Gutierrez. Did we do it? Did we do it? Uh, yes, we did. We did it. Okay, so. Okay, ma'am, what's your name up at Paul Ryan? Doreen Dorso. Yeah, that one. Theft, ma'am. Miss uh, Dorso, you've been in five days. How come you haven't bought it out yet? I don't have anyone to bomb me, but I told you the last time I'm in a program through the hack. I just recently got my own apartment. I have a caseworker. I'm being drug tested. I just got off the street. So, but I don't have anybody to bomb me. I've lived here 10 years. $250. You have four prior thefts, uttering a forged instrument, and uh, so let me just look here. This time, you allegedly uh, allegedly went to uh, Target. And, uh, yes, sir. I made a mistake. The razor aisle, selected razors. So I know that I think, you know that's where that's to resell them. And uh, that man for the razors, four prior thefts. It's probably going to be charged with felony. Judge, so what's the value? Can I ask what's the value? Forty-two dollars worth of razors. So that'll go felony. One, one would uh, pretty much guess that would not be for personal use. So. All right, ma'am, I'm going to let you go see your judge. Thank you. Oh my God. Okay. Now. Took care of Mary Loke. How about uh, Michael Sterling? Michael Sterling? North Broward. Sit down, don't panic. Um, what? Raise your leg. Raise your leg. Oh, oh Jesus. Hey, Mr. Sterling. Hey, hey. Hey, Sorry, hey. You're here for, uh, uh, you see, DB battery dropped, four trespassing. You got a battery on this one. You just take a quick look. He's allegedly touching the woman at Walmart. This is going to go to your division judge, sir. Thank you. Okay, what about LaCedric Brunson? LaCedric Brunson. Your Honor, he's a med reset. Okay, um, send it to the division for me. Well, you know what? You could just bring it back in here on Monday. How's that? 
Okay. How about, uh, how about Ramatar, Rajendra Ramatar? Ramatar? Set this for uh, Monday PM. All right. We have bonded. Monday PM. There you go. Okay. Let's go through this again. I think we took care of everything, did we? That's a wrap, everyone. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Judge. All right, everyone. Thank you very much. We're going to see everyone back here. I'll be here on Monday. Uh, will I be here on Monday? I think I'll be here on Monday. If not, uh, everyone have a very nice, safe weekend. Thank you very much. Um, and I'll see you back on Monday. We're out from room 235. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Thank Just stay on for around. a brief oh, moment. Yeah. We're not going to go away. We're going to find out where our, our happy couple is here down the hallway. You don't need me. No, no, no. I have a feeling they decided on the beach. They may have. It's not charging. Very nice.